All right, uh, let's look at the homework eight, uh, problem number 20. All right, so we want to find the absolute maximum and absolute minimum over the given interval. All right, so uh, let's do that. All right, so first we need to find critical numbers. So we take the derivative, uh, f prime of x is equal to, all right, so we have a uh, uh, product here, so we're going to have to use a product rule. All right, so derivative of the first guy is 1 times the second guy is quantity x minus 9 cubed plus uh, first guy is uh, x minus 1 times derivative of the second guy is 3 in front. Uh, keep the same inside expression, subtract 1 from the power, multiply by derivative of inside, which is 1 anyway, so I'm not going to write anything down there. All right? And the derivative 4 is 0, so it goes away. All right? Then I'm going to uh, pull out common factor. So in this case uh, here, you have x minus 9 squared. There are actually three of them, so I'll take two of them. All right? So we have uh, x minus 9 squared. All right? So the left over would be uh, there's a x here and a minus 9. So that will take care of uh, the, another x minus 9. Then you have a 3 times x, so you have a 3x. So I'm going to actually, yeah, I'm going to just write 3x here. All right, then you're going to multiply, uh, distribute 3 to negative 1, so it's going to be uh, minus 3. All right, so this is going to be um, x minus 9 squared. So you have a 4x minus 12. All right, so it looks like a 4 is in common, so pull 4 out. So you have uh, x minus 9 squared, then you have a uh, x minus 3. All right, if you set that equal to 0, we have uh, critical numbers, All right? x equals uh, 3 and also 9. So those are the critical numbers. All right, so let's do part A. So part A, uh, we have all right, our uh, endpoint is 0, so I'm going to try to find f of 0. And the uh, critical numbers, so these are critical numbers, but uh, in this case only 3 is on that interval, 9 is too big, so we're going to have to consider f of 3. Then also uh, the other endpoint, f of 5. All right, so here. Uh, if you plug in 0 into the original function, you would get uh, here uh, negative 1 times uh, negative 9 cubed. So it's going to be what? Uh, positive 9 cubed. So 9 cubed uh, plus 4. So that's a big number. All right. Then here, plug in 3. If you plug in 3 here, you're going to get, uh, let's see, 2 times. All right, 3 minus 9 is negative 6, and uh, let's see, negative 6 um, cubed. So it's going to be negative 6 cubed, all right, and a plus 4, all right. I'll compute that later, all right. Then you have 5, so plug in 5, so it's going to be 4 times uh, 5 minus uh, 9 would be negative 4, so negative 4. Uh, cubed and a plus four. All right. All right. Actually, did I miss that up? Miss that up. This is plus four, right? Plus four. All right. So let's compute these numbers. I'm going to cheat a little bit here. I'm going to just to bring out a calculator. All right. So nine cubed uh, plus four would be. All right. Whoa. That's. Oh, actually, that's not what I want. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. All right, uh, 9 cubed uh, plus 4. All right, it came out, out of a 733, so this is a 733. And then uh, 2 times uh, negative 6 uh, raised to the third power. 
m plus 4 would be uh, negative 428. So this is negative 428. And the next one is uh, 4 times um, negative uh, 4 cubed uh, plus 4. We got negative 252. Right? So you can see that the maximum is going to be definitely this guy. So this is the absolute maximum. And absolute minimum is this guy. So min. Right? So let's type it in. All right? Absolute max maximum is 733 occurs at uh, x equals 0. All right? Let's check the answer. All right? Check the answer. All right, we got that. All right, absolute minimum would be, uh, let's see, smallest one is negative 428. And this occurs at, uh, uh, what was, uh, was it 3, was it? Let's see, I have to double check. So it, occur, it occurs at 3. Yeah, so we have that. So let's check the answer. All right, we got that. All right, and uh, let's see, part B, so it's a different interval, but uh, the way you do it is pretty much the same. So I'll let you guys figure it out, but make sure that, that you consider that all the uh, critical numbers on that interval and also the endpoints. So whichever the largest value is going to be the absolute maximum, whichever the lowest value is going to be the absolute minimum uh, just like the uh, you know how we uh, you know what we did with the part a All right that's it i hope that uh, this was clear